John 15, 19 has several interesting little constructions. You have our first time we've seen a contrary to fact conditional sentence, a second class conditional sentence. We're going to see on alpha nu with a non-subjunctive verb, which is a little unusual. Going to have a verbal form that's a little confusing to parse. But especially in this verse, pay attention to the shifts in tenses. It's helpful. A, ectu kosmu eta, ha kosmos on ta idion ephile. Hati de, ectu kosmu uk este. Al, ego exelexamen humas, ectu kosmu, diatuta misse humas ha kosmos. So here's our second class contrary to fact condition. You have an A, and you have an imperfect, but an indicative. So if you were, and you can feel why it's imperfect, it's describing an ongoing situation, how they used to live. But if you were of the world, then understood the world, and then the on here just puts a would into it to make it tentative. The world would, and remember, it's a contrary to fact statement. So, the world would, and although this isn't perfect, you really want to say it in a present in English. The world would love its own. Idios is somewhat of an unusual word, but it means own of some sort. So, love its own, in other words, love its own people. But because... You are, shifting into the present, not of the world, but, the idea is, but rather I, and then what's this? Well, remember, whenever you have a compound verb, it starts like this. If you want to see what that is, you get rid of the augment, and it would then go back to ek, le, and you have a, C, so you know I have some kind of velar there. That this is a, a middle form. It's from eklegomai. So it's, but I chose you, Eris, right? I chose you out of this world. So we are not of the world, but we've been chosen out of the world for this reason. And in this case, diatuta is pointing forward. For this reason, the world hates you. So you have some nice shifting of past lifestyle, the world's ongoing attitude towards you, our present state of not being of the world. Why? Because we were chosen out of the world. And so for that reason, we live in the present with the world hating us. You've got the end of a Dependent clause indicated with the comma as well. Then you have the then, uh, the world would hate you. Now we're going to have the reason why. And it starts with an idea of you are not of the world. Another conjunction. Why are you not of the world? Because I've chosen you out of the world. And now we get to the actual explanation for this reason. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on its own line. Uh, the world hates you. So really the main affirmation is, why does the world hate us so much? Well, let's find out why. I think we'll indent our conditional sentence. If you were of this world, then the world would love its own. But, need to move the post positive. And put it back up here. And go ahead and indent it. But, and really the, the but finds its final fulfillment, or the, where it's going to is in that bottom line, the world hates you. So I think we're going to want to indent these a bit so we can see the logic. But, you are not of the world. Why? I'm going to put that all on its own line, I think. You are not of the world. But, here's why you're not of the world. I've chosen you out of the world. And then, 
for this reason, really functions as a kind of a conjunction. So you end up with something like this. Uh, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. In contrast to that, stating the reason now before the conclusion, because you are not of the world, but rather I, meaning Jesus, have chosen you out of this world for this reason, which then goes back to both of those, doesn't it? Because you're not of the world, because I've chosen you out of it, the world hates you. Now, one of the things you need to discuss in class is what is this all about? Are we talking about election or are we talking about something specific to the, in this case, the 11 disciples? Good class discussion.